Hello and welcome to another episode of our series on probability and statistics. I am your host Ananya and today we are diving into the world of set scores, also known as standard scores. This statistical measure is a cornerstone in data analysis, especially when dealing with normal distribution. So what exactly is a z score? At its score, a z score tells us how far a specific data point is from the mean of a data set, measured in terms of standard deviations. It's a way to understand where a data point stands in relation to the overall data. The formula for calculating a z score is straightforward. It's the data point minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. If x represents the data point, mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. Now, interpreting z score is vital. A positive z score means the data point is above the mean, while a negative z score means it's below. The magnitude of the z score indicates how many standard deviations the data point is from the mean. A z score of 0 means that the data point is right on the mean. But why do we care about z scores? Well, they serve multiple purposes in the world of data analysis. For instance, they help us identify outliers, those values that stand significantly apart from the mean. Z scores also come in handy during data pre processing, allowing us to standardize data when working with variables on different scales. Another critical application is hypothesis testing. Z scores help us determine the significance of our results. For example, a Z score of 1 signifies a data point that's one standard deviation above the mean, while a z score of minus one means it's one standard deviation below. To illustrate, let's consider a scenario. Imagine you have a data set of test scores with a mean of 75 and a standard deviation of 10. If a student scores 85, you can calculate their z score as 85 minus 75 whole divided by 10, which equals one. This tells us the student's score is one, standard deviation above the mean. Lastly, Z scores have diverse applications spanning finance, quality control, healthcare and more. They are indispensable for comparing sample data to population data, making informed decisions and drawing meaningful insights. So that wraps up our exploration of Z scores. I hope you have found this episode enlightening. If you have questions or topics you would like me to cover in future episodes, please reach out. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes. Also, please let me know how was the episode by interacting via polls and leaving your feedback. This will really help me in improving the content. Besides, I'll be really happy on reading your thoughts on the segment. Thanks for joining us today and until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of data science. Till then, happy listening.